so if you click on that video i guess you're the type of guy that is watching anime seven days per week and never leaving his room or house or whatever you probably don't know what digicore is because wikipedia doesn't have an article about it so i'll try to explain a lot of people just call it hype about but do not being sure this literally just trap of sins not as aggressive as rage and not as simple as roblox car please stop calling roblox car digicore it's not digicore all right it's time to open fl studio already so how do we make digicore my audience is the most important thing about Digicore. Those can be made with plugs or leads or whatever you like. But get a Digicore sound, the melody should have a lot of reverb and being really atmosphere. Or it should be like an 8 bit arcade melody. I'll go with the first one. I picked a great plug and here we start to make a melody. First, we're gonna start with the bass notes. Not a difficult step at all. Just place the bass notes and make them play rhythm. So next I just made a melody that supports the bass rhythm. It sounds pretty cute. Next thing is the bass and the cool step effect that works with the melody pretty well. And so we're done with the melodies. Also for the second drop I made two more melodies. One is pretty repetitive and just like pretty much just helping the rhythm. And the second melody is playing with the main melody because the main melody is flowing and stuff and the second melody is just a regular melody, just straightforward. And so we started to clap with pretty fast kick rhythm. Next is the 808, it repeats the kick rhythmically and sometimes there's more notes. Next are the hi-hats. Hi-hats are pretty similar to hyperpop ones, so you can see the video right here. So next are the symbols like open head and crash. So it's the last step today. It's basically the moment when you do your creativity. You add another melodies, another patterns of the drums and stuff, just, just mess around and 